Hey everyone. Now in this quick start tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up an email split test using Profollow. Now Jeff has already gone through kind of the theory and strategy behind why it's it's really important that we do email split testing so that we can measure the content that we're delivering to our respective lists. And so basically I want to walk you through seven simple steps to setting up your email split test. The very first step is to click broadcast in the drop down menu for messages because we're sending out an email broadcast that we're wanting to create a split task campaign around. All right, then from there, step two is to create a split test broadcast. So we would select uh, the button to the right um, to create that split test broadcast. And then the third step, and this is really important, this is where we're going to set the percentages for each of your split test groups. And again, you can have up to four different segmented groups within uh, Aweber. And you can go 25, 25, 25, 25, or you could go, uh, maybe you're sending just three emails. It might be 50% of the list will receive this one email, and then 25 and 25% 25 will receive uh, these other emails. So you can really break it down in any way that you choose. So let's say for our purposes, we've created uh, four different headlines, or it could be four different uh, pieces of copy for the email broadcast. And uh, we want to split test each one and send 25% of our list to each of the respective emails. All right, so we would break down the percentages, then we click create split test. All right, then in step four, we want to create the message for our very first group. So that first 25% that are going to receive this specific message. We want to create that message, create the subject line and the content and get it ready to queue up. And then from there, when we're creating that message, very important, we want to make sure that we select the track clicks button because this will enable us to track the click through rates of the links that are included in that email broadcast and really, really important so that we can cross compare the click through rates from the four different emails that we're split testing. Okay, then in step six, after we've created that first message, as you see here in this screenshot, we then wanna click the copy button to create another message with the exact same settings. And then from there, we would insert possibly the different subject line or a uh, different body copy, whatever, we're, whatever variable we're split testing. All right, so pretty straightforward process. And then the final one, and most important, after, after we've scheduled and queued up that broadcast, then from there we want to track results. And this is the type of results that you will be able to access within Profollow. All right, looking at the bottom four here, we see that each of these messages uh, was delivered to over 7,500 names. And then we see, uh, we go over to the far right, we'll see the opens and the clicks, and we can track the percentage of opens based on the different subject lines that we see here and then how are the click-through rates once the person actually opened the email and so we look at the second one and we see that that has the most significant results so the one that says how to start from scratch uh, we see that it has a 25 percent open rate which is a three percent higher than any of the other ones and also it has a higher click-through rate of 5.4 percent so that's really good information so we want to look at that content see what we did and, and be able to you know, either run that copy to an, a larger list or uh, to really leverage what we've done there. Okay, so this data is gonna be critical to helping you optimize the performance of your email campaigns. All right, so this is just a quick tutorial to show you those seven steps for creating a email split test. We'll see you in another video soon. Take care.